The last thing I learned about uh, marathoning is marathoning is a journey, and it's a very interesting journey. In the very beginning of a marathon, everyone is cheering. There's fireworks. Everyone's excited. Like, yeah! And then the first mile, everybody's like, yeah, we finished the first mile. And I've run a lot of marathons, and at the first mile, I'm not thinking, yeah, I'm thinking, there's 25 left. <laughs> um, now, the rest of the crowd will start getting quieter. At the sixth mile, no one screams and is excited. And on the 10th mile, it's very quiet. And on the 13th mile, all the halfies leave. So if you're not a marathon or halfies are people who run half marathons. It's amazing that you run a half marathon, but it's a half. Um, <laughs> but, um, and then, then it happens. And the halfies don't get to experience this. It's at the 17th mile. Maybe some it's the 16th, some it's the 18th. 17th mile, something happens and it's called the wall. And it's called the wall because it feels like hitting a brick wall. And has anybody ever experienced in software architect, uh, architecture the feeling of banging your head against a desk? You know, just wishing it would work, right? Same thing with running. You hit the 17th wall, your legs will turn to iron, your brain will turn to mush, and you'll be asking yourself, why am I doing this? I could be doing so many other things. Daredevil just came out on Netflix. Why am I running this marathon? The difference between someone who finishes a marathon and someone who stops at mile 20 is how do you respond to the wall? And this is the same for us in architecture. When we hit the risk, when we hit the failure, that is what defines us. Can we overcome that? Can we, was our architecture enough? Was it flexible enough to overcome that? No one ever says, hey, you did a great job. You got all the way to mile 20 and you stopped. Good job. Nobody ever says that. But when you finish a marathon and you get that medal, everything, everything was worth something. It, it was amazing. And the same thing happens for us when we finish our projects. When you go out at the end of the day and you were successful and your project returned on investment, your project changed the world. I've worked on some projects that actually cure diseases, you know, or people are safer in hospitals and stuff like that. We can change the world. Software will be the mechanism that tomorrow will be built on. And, but it will only be, you can only be part of that if you get through your walls and you can build flexible enough approaches to get past that.